In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can make a parametric roof like this. And as you can see, I can change these points and produce different results. And basically, by changing these points, uh, we will have a parametric roof and new results. We can also change the thickness, the number of the roof sections, as you can see here, uh, the thickness and also the extrusion which we can control and produce the results we can finally uh, make the extrusion into rhino and have it in rhino so you can see that i can have this in rhino okay, before we start this tutorial from scratch if you're new to our channel uh, welcome consider subscribing because we have weekly tutorials and you can also watch this video which is what is grasshopper and why you should learn it and also uh, we have a course, so you can watch the lessons up here, uh, which we have advanced lessons to learn Grasshopper. But before we start this from scratch, what I want to do is to use the Rhino interface to show you how to model the roof. So I'm going to go to the line here and click a point. Use the Shift key uh, to make it on Auto, and I'm going to put a point here and another point like this here, okay? By clicking this, you can see that you have the point here and you can move it up. And that's the reason why I'm doing this. You can uh, hold down the Alt key and move it back the line to make a copy. And what we want to do is to use the tween curve command. You can also find that in the curve section. And here we have the tween curve command. So remember when we uh, run this, it's going to select the start and the end and the number of curves we need between them, okay? The problem with this is that if I move the curve, it's not going to update the results. So remember, you have to click record history before running between curves. That's exactly how we're going to do that in Grasshopper. So if I move this point like this, and move this point like this, you can see it's going to update the results and we can just select all of them uh, move them by this point of in the y direction okay it's going to extrude that and you can see that you can have the results okay and we can also use the offset surface uh, to put that into a distance a solid yes and then we will have the results okay so this is the way you can do that in rhino exactly the techniques we're going to use in Grasshopper are the same, okay? So let's just do that in Grasshopper. And I'm going to go to New Document and go to the Params menu. Let's put the Bifocus plugin so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use this point, two set of points here. Uh, right click and set multiple points. I'm going to use the shift key so it's going to be in one direction again and set multiple keys for points like this. And now we can move these points. Uh, just check that on the display section. Uh, the gumballs are on and we're good to go. Okay, let's just move this one too and we're okay. Uh, what we want to do is to make a polyline, so it's really easy, going to go to the curve section and use this polyline thing to make two set of polylines, it's really easy, and uh, it's exactly right right now, so I'm going to just type tween curve, and it's located in the curve section, tween curve, you can also watch another tutorial about tween, I'll put it up here if you want to learn more about tween. But for now, we can say that this is the start and this is the end. You can see that this is the curve to tween from and curve to tween to. And there's a factor here and there's a number between 0 and 1. So if I give this like 0, it's going to go to this one. And if I give it a 1, it's going to go to the second polyline. You can see it's going to morph between that. So what we want to do is to produce a series of number between 0 and 1 that can be easily done by using the range and you can see that the default is between 0 and 1 and it's going to divide that 0 to 1 with default steps I'm going to divide that by 12 and give it to the factor so that's how easy it is to change that and we can select those points 
move them forward. You can see it's going to update the results. You can bring it down if you want to make it align, something like this. So remember, you can just play with these points uh, to produce different results. I'm going to bring that up and make it like this. Okay, the next step is to give this a little bit of thickness. So I'm going to use the offset curve tool, which you can find in the curve and utility. And I'm going to give that to the tween. Uh, if you check this out, you can see that these curves are offsetting down this one. Uh, and some of them are offsetting upwards, okay? And that's the problem with uh, the offset. You have to go to the Parms menu and select this plane. Uh, connect your curves to that and give it to the plane. That's the trick you can use to make that in the right direction. And then we can give it a distance. So remember to offset that in the right direction. Okay, now what we want to do is to connect these uh, tween curves into the offset curves. I'm going to go to the Parms menu and select a curve. So, and let's just copy and paste this. So you can see that we have to connect these two series of curves together. And we're going to use the loft. The problem here is that this one is in groups. You always, when you offset the curves, it's going to put them into groups. You can see it like here. But this one is not in groups because you don't see that line here. What we want to do is to graft this one, right click and graft, to make that also in groups. Uh, we can just right click and put a graft on this. Again, let me just connect the curves so you can see those lines and you can see that it's in one group. And now we can give that to the loft. The reason we want to do that is that when I use the shift key to add them up, is that you can see it's going to connect two by two and loft them together. So it's going to basically have 12 times lofting and it's two by two, okay? Remember you have to graph that. And for the graph section, we have a tutorial also about flattener graft. I will put it up there so you can check that out. Okay, so now we will have this. You can just change the distance. And let's just give this an extrusion in the y direction and give this also a number that's it so that's how we can extrude that and you can see that by changing these numbers we can change the results by changing the points we can have different results That's how we can have that. And finally, we're going to go to the extrusion and bake it into Rhino. So we will have this in Rhino. And you can see how easy it is to convert the Rhino commands into Grasshopper. Let's just go to the artistic and take a look at the results. And that's the tutorial of how uh, you can make that parametric roof in Grasshopper. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to like and comment on this video and see you next time.